an idea on the impact of this latest surge. You will be waiting a bit longer if you want to find out if you have the virus. So the Long Center is one testing site. Candy Rodriguez checked in with organizers at the mega testing site. She is live outside the Long Center with what they say is the number one symptom reported. Good morning, Candy. Yeah, Amanda, Sally, good morning. And those top symptoms include a cough, a runny nose, and the problem with that is that those could be associated with other things. But the fact remains that that could also mean COVID-19. And that's why you see Nomi Health here at the Long Center administering those COVID-19 tests. They've been here since last Monday. They were initially only supposed to be here for a couple of days, but that quickly got extended when they saw those long line of cars continue to grow. A couple of thousand tests have been administered in the last week. That's according to Nomi Health's CTO and co-founder Bo Hartman, who says just in the first day they conducted 500 tests, of which 28% came out positive for COVID-19. So we quickly turned and we turned this into a mega site very quickly, going from two nursing teams up to uh, three nursing teams. Close to 30% of Nomi's health tests are coming back positive for COVID-19. Another healthcare company, Curative, is seeing more positives. About 38% of the people that we test are positive. In the last two weeks, Curative has seen its numbers skyrocket, going from 2,500 tests a day in Austin to 12,000. I mean, I think from, from the beginning of the pandemic, Never thought we'd be doing it as long as we have. A lot of the people are coming to get tested because they have symptoms that could either be allergies or COVID-19. Yeah, a, a lot of it really is, uh, you know, I have a cough, uh, I have a runny nose. It's actually really interesting, We're, well, and I was talking to some of our, our clinical staff earlier today, it looks like cedar fever, so people are caught between do I have a cold, do I have cedar fever, or do I have COVID. That's why testing is actually so important, especially here in Central Texas when we're all dealing with the, uh, the cedar fever uh, season. And right now we don't see anyone in line. A big difference to what we saw last Tuesday when the line started at 530 when we were here at the Long Center. But that could change as the sun comes up. And both of these healthcare companies tell me that they will continue to provide testing as needed. Nomi Health is expected to be here at the Long Center through tomorrow. They will then reassess to determine if they need to stay longer. Curative tells me because of the demand, they are not taking walk-ups and they're asking everyone to please make an appointment online for testing. Back to you. Thank you, Candy.